When I think of raptor rehab, I kind of think of broken wings or broken legs that need mending. But not so much feathers. But if a bird has some damaged feathers, they might have a little trouble surviving. Eagle goes down. So if the bird's Ouch. feathers have to be fixed, Ouch. You know, even if they protest a little, they use a technique called imping. Imping is actually an old, a really, really ancient uh, falconry technique. If you're hunting your falconry birds and they get, let's just say you have a, a peregrine falcon and it dies, that it gets in a fight with a pheasant. And pheasants are extremely powerful birds. And during this fight, some of the primaries on, so the wing feathers, the outer feathers, get damaged on the bird. Well, that actually wound up affecting the flight of the bird. So m thousands of years ago, falconers figured out a way to replace those feathers in a process called imping. Well, back in the day, the process was a little crude. They would take a metal pin, an iron pin, and they would dip that in brine, and then they would stick that in the shaft, and then the iron pin would rust, and it would rust into place. But today, we still do it, um, but we're using more modern uh, stuff. So we're using um, basically epoxies is what we're using. Now, you may have seen this juvenile bald eagle in our story on Trooper's recovery. You see, there was a reason why he couldn't fly up to that perch. Yeah, so this is how the bird came in. It was found at the Chautauqua National Wildlife Refuge. It was found on the ground, unable to fly. This is the major reason why it can't fly, because it has no surface area here to fly. And since this is a bald eagle, there's an added wrinkle to the process. It's actually illegal to have eagle feathers, all right? Um, they are protected by law. Um, and every bird here that we have that's an eagle, when they molt, we literally have to collect those feathers and we have to send those feathers in to the National Eagle Feather Repository in Boulder, Colorado. But the Illinois Raptor Center is permitted to keep a limited amount of feathers according to their operating permit for imping purposes only. But our eagle feathers we hide. So actually this lady here, Beth and me, uh, are the only two people that know where we hide our eagle feathers. Um, there was one other person. He's not with us anymore. Uh, so anyway, let's see how they fix this bird with feathers that I did not touch and I have no idea where they're stashed. We're going to cut the damaged feather away from the bird and we're going to replace it with a non-damaged feather from uh, either a molted feather from one of our eagles or a salvage feather from a, uh, an eagle that died. Even though the process looks a little barbaric, it doesn't hurt. The repaired feather will drop within a year or so, and a new one will grow in its place. We're going to go ahead and cut this one, and then we're going to match it up to see if they're about the same size. There's a specific spot we cut it at, which is right there. Now what we have to do is we have to make a pin. And so we have to make something that we can put in the shaft of this feather and put in the shaft of this feather. There's several things you can do. Um, you can use bamboo, uh, which makes a really great imping uh, a needle, what we call it, an imping pin. But actually what I really, really, really like doing is just using the existing shaft. There's several reasons. Um, this is lighter. Um, this also matches the contour of this feather. So in order for us to do that, what we're gonna do is take the old feather and we're just gonna strip off this feather material here. And then we're gonna trim it, kind of just cut, get away some of that excess there. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to basically put that in there. And then we'll trim that. And then we're going to give it a little bit of a smooth edge here. And then what we'll do is we'll just stick it inside the shaft of this. Bingo. This same procedure will be done to the remaining damaged feathers on that wing. Now once Jack is satisfied with the work, all the other feathers will be glued into place with an epoxy and will remain there until the feather is molted out. So it has to be done right the first time. There really aren't any second chances. That is an art. So that is um, just feeling it and looking at it. And so uh, that is, that's kind of the art to this whole process. Um, imping is not a, a science. It's more of an art. Now the recovery process, we'll begin with the other eagles out in the flight. We've got Trooper out there. We've got this other eagle, Peoria, out there. And once he has some surface area that he's going to move, he's going to want to be up there with them. He wants to sit next to those adults. It's kind of sad because he's been grounded. He's going to have to get lift. He's going to have to get up there. That's going to take some muscles. And then when he's up there, you know, when we feed him, he's going to be on the ground. So he's going to have to come down the ground and get up, and then he'll be flying 
a flight. So he'll be the last bird out of the, the batch of eagles right now that'll be released. We're going to get him some time to get um, some muscle built up. And who knows, maybe Trooper and this bird will reunite out in the wild world. You never know. Indicator, Steve Nichols, WAND.